Alright guys, so um, finally decided to do my first uh, YouTube video about gear. Um, so, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, there are tons of videos out there just like mine about their stove setups. Um, but I thought it would be a good place to start uh, here on YouTube. So, giving it a shot. Um, but anyway, I'm um, going to do a little review of my stove real quick. Uh, it was a DIY uh, beer can stove. Um, double wall construction. I don't remember. There was a great YouTube video uh, on how to make this. I don't remember the name of it uh, or who actually posted it. Um, but it's just a simple little two wall, uh, double wall design. Uh, two beer cans crunched together with a, an extra piece of aluminum uh, in there uh, creating a double wall effect. So uh, once I light the center and it starts to prime, uh, it should vaporize and start to come out of these jets here, and it does pretty good. Um, it's been actually probably a couple months since I fired it up, so I'm hoping it still works well. Um, but on top of that, I have a little pot stand here that's made out of some hardware mesh. Um, windscreen here, um, just a simple windscreen uh, out of some sheet aluminum from Home Depot. Um, punch some holes in it there so it can get a little bit of uh, ventilation going. Um, and this will all nest into my uh, Snow Peak, everything's full right now, sorry, Snow Peak 600 mug, uh, titanium mug, uh, nests inside of it really well, uh, even with a little towel that I can put in there. Uh, and then this is my little homemade pot lid wine cork top. I uh, just put some JB Weld on there to hold it in place. Um, I'm about to redo this. Uh, I believe his name is John over at Intense Angler Outdoors uh, and Intense Angler um, has done a great video uh, on do-it-yourself uh, pots lid so hopefully gonna gonna make one of those out of my favorite beer can uh, so we'll see um, but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and fire this guy up and we'll just do a little boil time uh, boil test um, so let me get my phone going here you can tell this is my first video I'm not really prepared so pull everything off I'm gonna go ahead and light this guy and hopefully be able to turn the lights off here in a minute so you can actually see the bloom starting to happen um, so gonna go ahead and light it Alrighty, so uh, yeah, I'm back. Just wanted to turn this light off real quick. I'm gonna turn the other one off as well. Uh, just so you know, we're at uh, about 10 seconds right now. So we'll leave this going here just to see how long it takes to actually fire up. And I've got some, you can see here, some fuel actually coming out of the side, which is not supposed to happen. So I'll have to probably paint that with some JB Well to, to reseal that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the other light here so you can really get a good view. Um, of it starting to bloom here. So we're getting a little bit. Like I said, that back flame there should uh, should really not be there, so I've got a little work to do um, getting this guy back in business. Um, so it's trying hard to get a nice bloom there. Ah, uh, there. Oh. Alright, so I think we're there. Uh, like I said, Back flame should not quite really be there, so that took about one minute there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my pot stand on here. We'll turn this back on for you. All right, restarting it here. Okay, I'm gonna get one more light back on for us here. We'll see how long it actually takes to get a boil going. Uh, fastest time yet has been about two and a half minutes. And this is about 16 ounces of water in there, maybe uh, an ounce or two uh, over or under, but pretty darn close, um, which is great for those backpacker pantry and mountain house mills. Uh, and of course, if I was out in the backcountry, I'd have my little windscreen on there, but uh, don't even have the air running today, so we don't need that. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna call that a boil. Starting to roll now, just at five minutes and five seconds. We've just gone past that, you can see there. So I'm gonna go and take this off before so I make I just miss. want you guys to see this. Um, I haven't actually taken this out into the field yet, this stove, so. Uh, still a little bit in the learning process and trial and error. Um, here's an error. I tried to use my uh, REI little quick drying microfiber towel here to pick it up and because it was crawling so much up the side of the pot, I ended up actually with um, a burned uh, REI multi-towel. So 
Uh, luckily I work there so I get a little bit of a discount on this stuff but that's a little bit disheartening. I got to come up with a better uh, little pot grip there. I'm thinking about ordering um, some of the fiberglass wick from Smoke Eater 908. So, um, but anyway, still going uh, and it will go for probably another three or four minutes. Uh, I just kind of eyeball the fuel that time. Uh, I should be able to after I would imagine about an ounce uh, get a boil. Maybe a little bit less. Uh, right now that's uh, just kind of eyeball. So this will boil for a few more minutes or, or burn for a few more minutes um, and while I go and upload this video.